Hi, so in this video we are taking one solved example or we are taking a problem and we'll try to solve it. The problem statement says given that n of a minus b is equal to 37 plus x, n of b minus a is 5x and n of a intersection b is equal to 3x, n of a is equal to n of b plus 1, find x. So this is a problem where the cardinal number of a minus b, b minus a and a intersection b are given in terms of x and at the same time we have got a relation between the cardinal number of a and cardinal number of b and we have to find the value of x. So first we have to find the cardinal number of a and the cardinal number of b and then we have to find the value of x. Right? So to understand the problem better I am going to draw a Venn diagram. So this is the Venn diagram where we have two sets, set A and set B. I have not drawn the universal set because that is not required over here because everything given to us is in terms of set A and set B. Right? And now we are going to represent all these cardinal numbers in this Venn diagram and then we will try to find the cardinal number of A and cardinal number of B. Right? So first we are given that n of A minus B is equal to 37 plus x. So what is A minus B? A minus B is actually the portion of set A which is not overlapping with set B. The definition of A minus B is the elements of set A which are not there in set B. Right? That means this portion actually represents A minus B and its cardinal number is 37 plus x. Right? And similarly, we are provided with the cardinal number of B minus A. B minus A will actually be the area of set B which is not overlapping with set A or the elements of set B which are not there in set A. That means this area will actually represent B minus A, right? And its cardinal number is 5x. And then we are provided with the cardinal number of A intersection B and that is 3x, right? And A intersection B is actually represented by this overlapping area. Its cardinal number is 3x, right? And now what we have to find next? First we have to find the cardinal number of A and B. The cardinal number of A, that is n of A, will actually be equal to the cardinal number of A minus B plus the cardinal number of A intersection B. The set A is actually represented by this orange ellipse, right? That means this whole including this purple area is set A, right? And that is nothing but A minus B which is represented by this area plus A intersection B. Right? And that is why the cardinal number of A will actually be equal to the cardinal number of A minus B plus the cardinal number of A intersection B. Right? If I substitute the value of N of A minus B which is 37 plus X and the value of A intersection B that is the cardinal number of A intersection B which is 3X, I will get the value of the cardinal number of set A and that will be nothing but 37 plus 4x. Similarly, n of b or the cardinal number of set b is actually equal to n of b minus a plus n of a intersection b. Right? This is the portion which represents b minus a. Right? And this is the portion which represents a intersection b. And this whole portion actually represents the set B, right? And that is why the N of B or the cardinal number of B is actually equal to N of B minus A, the cardinal number of this portion plus N of A intersection B. So if I substitute the values, I will get N of B minus A is 5x and N of A intersection B is 3x, right? So the cardinal number of b is actually equal to 8x, right? Now we are given that n of a is equal to n of b plus 1, right? That means n of a that is 37 
plus 4x is actually equal to 8x plus 1 or from here we can get 8x minus 4x is equal to 37 minus 1 right or from here we can say that 4x is equal to 36 right and x is equal to 36 divided by 4 equal to 9 4 9s are 36 so we have found the value of x x is equal to 9 right and if we put this value of x over here we can find all the cardinal numbers which are represented over here right but we were supposed to find the value of x and that we have done so that's all for this video and from next video onwards we are going to learn about the probability so keep watching maths math and bye bye till then